live now on Zoom and on Facebook. Hey, Jason, how are you doing? Uh, happy New great, Year. Andrew. Happy New Year to you as well. And happy New Year to everyone joining us today. What a great way to start the year. Uh-huh. With our, uh, you know, Master UFO Action Plan, of course. Um, welcome back to the webinar, um, everybody. Hope you guys have had a wonderful holiday season and a great start um, to the year. Uh, Jason, uh, you know, always happy to uh, to to do one of these with you. It's always always been fun. Uh, so, what do we got in store for everybody today? And by the way, as as you guys are joining in, you know, we're looking forward to see where you're from. Um, Oh, check it out. We've got somebody from Malaysia. Hello. <laughs> Malaysia, yeah. I know it's uh, early morning there in Malaysia, so it's great to have this global business. Oh, welcome, welcome. we got Singapore here as well. Hey, Priscilla. Good mm -hmm. to see you. Um, and, and, you know, as you said, Happy New Year. And it is a, a time that we just came off of a great holiday season. Time to really reflect on the past year. Um, and most importantly, now we get to really set charge for where we're going. Right, Andrew, it's a, it's a new year and it's time to really focus on um, our destination, destination success. So tonight's session is all going to be about what goal setting for 2023. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. Uh, setting your goals for 2023 and towards the end of the, um, the session. So Jason and I will be you know, talking a little bit on, um, you know, setting up personal goals, identifying and determining your purpose and uh, all that. And then towards the end, we would like to have everybody participate um, as we send out a form for everyone to fill up where you're going to put in your business goals so um you know so so we can uh, have that on file review them and then help you achieve them um but uh, more importantly it's so that you you may or may not have had this done already but more importantly is for you to have a, a good scope of uh the things that you will be achieving uh, this year in your unfranchised business so let's uh kick it off i believe we're going to uh, start with recognizing um, some of our, uh, you know, uh, our, our our warriors on the leaderboard, uh, on the weekly leaderboard. Um, That's right. So That's right. Well, I think, you know, Andrew, I was looking at this and what's really amazing is that th these are folks that are on our leading board through the holidays. And a lot of people take time off and they settle down and they're not really focused on growing their business. But these individuals um, in the 53 challenge are really committed. And I, and I really want to, you know, extend my congratulations to each of you um, when you see your names on, on this leaderboard, certainly starting off with Australia. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. um, we've Good got job, some great team. new BV sales. Look at that, Doreen, 235 new BV. Of course, mm -hmm. lots of partner store orders as well. We've got a couple, uh, here we have new personally sponsored. And Canada. Look at that growth in Canada, right? Coming off of an incredible uh, local, uh, you know, presentations taking place, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Hong Kong, some more growth throughout the end of December leading into the new year. Malaysia, look at this, Andrew. Wow. Congratulations <laughs> to all of you, Malaysia unfranchised owners love to see this incredible incredible mm -hmm. job congratulations to all of you on the leaderboard and of course singapore and andrew i believe you're going to be doing a local seminar here pretty soon in singapore isn't that correct yes sir uh this this weekend we'll be doing a local uh, you know I've, i have a feeling those that have that that have hit the sponsorships and generated some new volume um you know they were actually achieved master ufo this past quarter um so you know congratulations to all of you who have achieved master ufo in q4 of uh, 2022 right and that's what this is all about right following our, our business system and, you know, following that action plan to achieve master UFO. Here we have, oh my goodness, just look, uh. at, all, look at all of these personal sponsorships. Yeah. Incredible. And it keeps going, right? It keeps going further and further. So we've got a lot of success happening here. My goodness. Juan is doing a phenomenal job with um, regards to growth and um 
um, you know, building their businesses, leading to uh, more points of distribution. Uh, great job, Taiwan. Look at that. All that sponsorship. Yeah. <laughs> that sponsorship. Leading from the front, and it continues. We can, you know, it, mm -hmm. it wasn't one or two slides. We were talking four different slides to get through everyone there. So congratulations, UK. We're going to keep working uh, on our business success. We've got some partner stores uh, working towards, but I know you're going to kick off 2023 with a strong start for us in the UK. And here we have the US again, another great job by our leaders here on the leaderboard. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Andrew, you know, um, nothing happens kind of by accident, right? Everything happens because there's a plan in place. Um, and, and a lot of people um, really reflect um, over the holidays, but then they set these New Year's resolutions. Do you have any comments or thoughts on New Year's resolutions? Yeah, you know, um, I, what, what what's the statistic? Uh, ninety percent of uh, what was it? Over ninety percent of people that set their uh, uh, resolutions like uh, fall out of it by by the end of the first month or something like that. Um, so it, it's one thing to set to set resolutions. It's another thing um, to actually, you know, put it down as a goal and uh, and 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 put down an action plan uh, to achieve them. Um, so you know, I think that's what we're going to be talking a lot about tonight. So you know, if 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 you guys do have your resolutions set up, great. Um, let's make sure we solidify them, get them into goals, and then uh, you know, put down an action plan so that we can achieve. Uh, achieve those goals. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's all about taking action on those goals and having the steps to success. And mm -hmm. of course, having accountability and having weekly accountability is critical to your success as well. So, you know, your success as an unfranchised owner or in any career path really is dependent on a couple of things. Mm -hmm. I know we have the basic five, but all five of the basic five fall within these items, right? The attitude, you have to have the right mindset. You have to program your mind for success. You need to make sure that you're committed towards those goals and you're doing everything to protect your mindset, right? And that's first and foremost is, you know, tonight, setting your goals, setting your intentions, getting an action plan, getting an accountability program in place, and then making sure that you're programming yourself for success. So it all starts with attitude, right. but nothing happens without what? Activity. Mm -hmm. Right. You can have the best mindset in the world, but if you don't take action, you're probably not going to attain your goals. Isn't that right? Right. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. so, you know, having that action plan, like you said, and taking activity and through activity, developing skills and really, you know, identifying what skills you need to improve upon. You know, every person has the skill set necessary to succeed as an unfranchise owner. Right. You don't have to be, you don't have to be able to shoot free throws, you know, 10 out of 10 times. You don't have to be able to slam dunk because I could never make an NBA basketball team, right? But so everyone has the skill and talent to, to um, perform. Mm. But again, if you simply really focus on just developing skills and trying to learn, but you don't really take action, right. nothing's going to happen. So it really has to be a combination of all of these things, Right. The good news, so, the good news is that uh, attitude is ninety percent of the battle, you know, because that would determine um, the the way you tackle, the way we tackle our activities and learn new skills. And uh, um, so, so for for so so the so ninety percent of the game is um, you know getting in the right mental state, and uh, um, and and we can all we we all have have control over that. Yeah. And um, yeah. showing up, right? Just showing up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and when we think about why people have goals, mm -hmm. um, it really comes down to an area of their life where um, they maybe they feel unfulfilled, right? And you can look at any area of life. It could be health. It could be career. It could be financially. Uh, at some point, someone, you know, maybe very happy in one area. That's mm -hmm. great. Maybe it's their relationships. They're very happy with their relationship. And that's because, again, back to that mindset, they had the mindset or the blueprint of what a healthy relationship would be. And they happen to be living that in reality. So there's, there's a connection there. Mm -hmm. But in other areas, people may be dissatisfied and they're, you know, feeling 
unfulfilled and something needs to change. And really what that means is that there's something happening where their blueprint or how they think things should be is not the reality. So mm. there is that disconnect. Right. Now, Andrew, only one of two things can happen. One mm. is you need to adjust the mindset or adjust the activity to attain the goal, right? It's really one of two of those things. So I want everyone tonight to really dig deep and think think back and say, you know, what keeps you up at night? What are those things that in the middle of the night you wake up? Or what are the things before you go to, to bed you're thinking of? Or what is it when you're maybe on your commute or driving around, when you're in those mindless moments, we call them, but they're not mindless at all. You're at a red light. What are you thinking about? Right? What are you thinking about? Because those are tending to be the things that are going to be your driving purpose, the things that subconsciously are irritating you enough that you want to take action on. Isn't that right? Absolutely. Um, and you know, there for all of us, we've we've got things that are holding us back. Um, so what are the uh, the reasons or the excuse that we may be holding? And and quite often, uh, uh, Jason, let me tell you, like the things that hold us back are the very same reasons or the very same things that um, that that should be our our driving factor. Um, yeah. Yeah. And so, so, you know, I'm glad you, 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 you brought this up, like things that uh, uh, it, it's not building the unfranchised business. It's not about uh, hitting a level or, um, you know, getting to uh, field vice president and earning that $36,000 uh, in, in a four week pay period. Um, but it's, it's more than that. It's what, what happens, um, you know, to your life when you know when you've achieved that it's 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 behind everything that happens behind uh the level um so you know we do want to take some time especially at the start of the year um to 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 reflect on that and and to make sure we we we, we know exactly what we're you know what we're going after yeah and, and we're going to ask you again as we come uh, towards the end of this to really think about yourself and your own goals and, and really think about things like this. Where are you going to be right. in the next six to 12 months, right? Mm -hmm. We really want to identify that tonight and help you on a path to attain that. Right. So, you know, it, it really has to be come back to that mindset. You, you have to have the mindset um, that this is your business, mm -hmm. right? Because um, although there is a lot of enjoyment in hobbies, there's also a lot of enjoyment and fun in building this business, Andrew, yeah. right? So I don't want to make it sound like this is, you know, terrible work and it's so hard. It, it's some of the most fulfilling work you'll ever do. And it's a blast, but mm -hmm. you still have to treat it like a, a legitimate business. Right, right. It's only fulfilling if you build it like a business. <laughs> it costs well money if, you, uh, if you're, you're building it like a hobby or treating it like a hobby. Yeah. So if, I mean, if you had any traditional business, you would have goals, you would have a business plan. You might even have to go to a bank and, and ask for a loan and you have to tell them what your mission and your vision is. And this is no different. You got to have your goals. We talked about defining your purpose. What is it that makes you tick? What really kind of charges you up and what are you excited about this year? Mm -hmm. And then define those dreams. But Andrew, what you said so nicely is, you know, resolutions or dreams or wishes really aren't anything until you can make them a goal. And that's by putting a date to it and putting an action plan to it. Mm. Um, we talk about having smart goals, specific, mm. measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-bound goals is, mm -hmm. is a great way to look at it. You should have all of those things written down so you can measure them and really translate it into that plan of action. Right. And, you know, let's also have some fun where we can visualize uh, our, our goals like that's, um, you know, some some people operate better on uh, on, on on visual cues. Um, so, you know, do take the time if you don't already uh, have a dream board, make one um, or, or a vision board, make one. And if you already do have one, um, maybe it's a, a new year is a great time for us to uh, update it or, you know, take a look at some of the 
things that we want to we 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 want to um we want to change like some of these goals or do we want to um you know do we want to add more things to the list but make sure again going back to what Jason said we want to qualify that list and uh and and put on things uh that that um you know are smart are, are smart smart goals so that we can uh achieve achieve them and attain them in a in a timely fashion yeah and i loved watching over the past you know a couple of weeks um leaders getting together with their teams their groups their families and mm. doing some of these dream boards and vision boards together I think that's a great exercise to do um, either at the end of the year or right now, get together with your teams and, and really kind of refresh that dream board. Cause it really, you got to paint that picture in right. your mind because you want to program um, success and see yourself as already accomplishing that goal. You want to you visualize it constantly because then you will, you will do something incredible um, in terms of manifesting all the right things to happen in your life when you can see it. And having a dream board is great. Having a goal statement is great. You've got to believe it can happen. And when you start taking action on some of those things, it solidifies that it's only a matter of time before um, it, you're going to attain that goal. It, it seems magical, but it is quite scientific when you understand the power of programming your brain. Right. That was that was one of uh, the key factors that got Jr. writing or to you know to to the success um, uh, levels that that he's achieved is um, you know programming your brain for uh, for success. But you know while we're programming, you know we we can be dreaming and 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 setting up our goals. We will have, you know, we'll, we, each of us will all have our own little set of obstacles, right? Um, so let's also, uh, let's not be afraid of them. Uh, a lot of people would, you know, would shy away at the, uh, at the sight of, uh, of, of obstacles. But um, what, what do they say? Like the best way to, uh, uh, to overcome your fears is to, is to face them. Um, so let's face what's holding us back and, and put a, a, you know, be conscious about it. Um, we uh, all have our, you know, emotional obstacles. We've got, um, you know, scheduling uh, obstacles. We've got uh, financial obstacles, some of us. Uh, so we, we need to also de de decide what we're willing to give up um, so that we can overcome uh, these obstacles. All right, Jason? Yeah, I mean, Andrew, you've got 24 hours in a day. I've got 24 hours in a day, right? Everyone has 24 hours in a day. So you've got to sometimes find out how are you going to fit in um, mm. time to get the eight to 15 hours uh, of work done to, to build your business. Um, and, and you make a great point in terms of identifying what some of these obstacles are, because then you can, you can do some creative problem solving and find ways that you can overcome those obstacles. Because if those obstacles are the things that are standing in the way between you and your goal, if you remove the obstacle, it's going to be a much easier path for you, right? And you have to expect that some of those obstacles are going to be there. So the, the sooner that you can identify what those may be, then you can start working on plans as part of your action plan to remove those obstacles and get whatever support that you may need. Got it. You know, so, you know, the difference between success and failure really is simple. If the individual who succeeds simply does what the individual who failed did not do or was not willing to do, and that includes setting smart goals. It includes a vision board. It includes having a goal statement. It includes understanding what the challenges may be hmm. and planning for success. And, right. You know, take a look at some of these things. Um, I put some of my own obstacles on here, Andrew. Yeah. Um, I, I think many of us can can very easily get caught in what the mindless scrolling sometimes. Right? Mm -hmm. And now with, with reels and stories and TikTok, you know, an hour can go by very quickly mm. watching random content, right? Right. Absolutely. And, you know, not, not just, the, not just that, like with, 
with all of the notifications, um, it can really throw off your flow state. You could be in, uh, you know, in the middle of doing a, uh, you know, in the middle of a call workshop session, and then all of a sudden notification comes, it throws you off completely on, uh, you know, instead of moving you down the list and getting through, uh, getting through the call. So, you know, I, I really like what you have here. Sometimes you got to be creative with your, uh, your, your problem solving. And oftentimes the answer or the solution is uh, staring us right in the face or right under our noses. So um, thanks for listing all of these out. These are really cool. Uh, so let's yeah, go through some of them, Jason. Yeah. And, and I was even thinking, um, you know, my background actually as a personal trainer, if mm -hmm. someone came to me and said, you know, I want to lose weight or get healthy. Um, and I went to their house and I looked at, you know, some unhealthy food all around their house and they just bought more. I'm like, well, that's your first, that's your first challenge right there. You're built, you're building in these obstacles. So you're going to fail. So the first thing you need to do is kind of clean the closet, you know, clean out. So same thing here. Um, but they you know, were on they're... sale, Jason. What do you do? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, there you go. Mm -hmm. um, you know, even, even things like, um, you know, busy schedule. Everyone's busy. Everyone's only got 24 hours, but everyone's busy. Well, how about setting a timer and scheduling work blocks? So maybe you don't have a full hour, but you can certainly block in 15 minutes. But the only thing you're doing for those 15 minutes are working. You've got the right. other 45 to do whatever else. Or, right. um, you know, we have a lot of people that might have some self-doubt, right? And, and confidence issues. Well, that's another great reason to have goals right in front of your dream board, right in front of your desk. Right. You, you mentioned 15 minutes, uh, Jason. Uh, I'm, I, I, keep, uh, I keep getting amazed at how much can be done in, uh, in 15 minutes. Um, you know, whether it be, you know, having 15 focused minutes on sending texts out to start several conversations in a day. Um, or whether it be uh, having 15 minutes uh, just to make sure that your uh, your 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 administrative work is is done, like in in the back office, it doesn't take much more uh, than that. Um, you know, to check your reports and all that. So uh, having these 15 minutes, it 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 does stretch and it 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 goes a long way. So thanks for 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 mentioning that. It sure does. You know, it is all about result producing activity, but you got to spend your time wisely. You got to mm -hmm. think, you know, am I spending my time or investing my time? Now, I'm not saying, you know, you know, get rid of all TV and entertainment. If that's something that's important to you, great, but use it as a reward or schedule it so that, you know, mm -hmm. you know what the most important thing is in your week um, is, is to, you know, family, you know, career or your, your uh, primary source of income, your market America business, those big rocks like we've seen in the demonstration. And right. then those little, you know, creeks and crevices where you fit everything else in. And, and you will be amazed at how much can get done. Um, I know another big obstacle for people, Andrew, is just the fear of objections or fear of rejection. That's the one thing holding them back, right? Do you find that, especially with new unfranchise owners? Oh, yeah. yeah. So, the, so what's a great thing that they can do? <laughs> work with a senior partner or somebody that, um, you know, is, 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 knows how to overcome them um and the the the, the best thing that, you know we could do is just to face to face these fears and you'll, you'll come to realize that the rejections and or, or objections are really not all that bad it uh, is it's not um people that don't uh, that don't get rejected become successful it's that people that get rejected more uh, uh, have, have, you know, do create more success because they're going through the numbers. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So it comes back to that attitude, activity, and skill, right? So everything comes down to, you know, small steps, simple daily steps that everyone can do that can result in huge accomplishments, mm -hmm. huge, right? If you focus your time on those result producing activities. So we talk about, you know, defining that purpose, having goals, and now you need to know what do I need to do with my time in order to achieve the level of success that I'm, I'm looking for. So, you know, Andrew, you bring on a brand new unfranchised owner, or even some of you that are out there today that are kind of getting reset and restarted and really want to make this a good year. Mm. You know, can you, can you talk to us a little bit about some of these objectives in the business? 
Yeah, absolutely. The one of the the the, the first objectives, like um, business objectives, like to to get us closer to our personal goals, is to generate and build that base ten or get that ten to fifteen customers um, who purchase from you. Um, it, it, you know the the exclusive products. And for a lot of people, this is the first sign of income that they'll they'll get because from the uh, because of the reorders from these customers, as long as we're um, servicing uh, our customers properly, maintaining a good relationship with them, um, and making sure we're getting them the right products to help them uh, to to provide a solution for them. So we, these are uh, that would be one of the first um, business objectives. We also want to uh, pay attention at act uh, at getting activated, but be mindful that this is not the the the, the be all uh, end all. Um, I, 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 I would I would say activate and continue to expand your points of distribution. Um, so having that in mindset, but starting off with personally sponsoring uh, the two uh, qualified UFOs uh, in your in your organization, so you can start earning that first commission at uh, 1200 and 1200 BV. And eventually, we wouldn't want to stop there. We go continue to do the same things with um, <clears throat> with the people that we 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 bring on board as business partners. We also want to work with them to generate uh, to, to to build their base ten to generate their ten to fifteen customers. Um, and naturally, that would progress through uh, the volume would progress through our business centers as well, uh, yeah, helping us get across executive coordinator. Yeah, and isn't it incredible that we've got a document called the Getting Started Guide? that outlines all of this, right? From, you know, mm -hmm. defining your why, writing down your goals, and then breaking down base 10, seven strong and creating that basic action plan. And then from there, it's about working with your uh, partners to develop a, a 90 day goal that you can measure, monitor, adjust and control as you go quarter by quarter. And there's probably no better kind of action plan than, than working and striving towards the master UFO program, mm. right? Absolutely. So, it, and, so you and break down this. Yeah. And, and, you know, the, the other thing is that um, it starts with, with us doing it, but the power, the real power of, of the master UFO um, program comes from when it's duplicated and when it's imprinted into the organization. Uh, this is the only, you know, the only way that I know that um, uh, what's that, that, that we can uh, get the volume, generate the volume, generate the sales and, and continue to expand while focused on doing a small number of activities uh, personally. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's, it's a wonderful system that we have in place. Yeah. And if you think about the five steps of the MPCP, um, you know, the management performance compensation plan, you know, we talk about apply, create, qualify, activate. Step five, duplicate, right? Duplicate, mm -hmm. teach managers, assist others to do the same thing. And, and that is um, the power of this business. So you really want to make sure that you've got a goal written down with an associated action plan and you're working with your mentor, partner, senior partner. Um, your, your sponsor, and holding each other accountable towards that action plan, because that's what's really going to make the biggest impact to your 2023. Mm -hmm. So where do we fill it, fit it all in, right? Mm -hmm. are, are we just haphazardly like, oh, well, I've got a couple minutes here, a couple minutes there, or do we need to schedule it? I find that even if it's like that 15 minute block, it gets blocked out in the schedule, because otherwise something will overtake that 15 minutes. Wouldn't you agree? Right, absolutely. Now, many, 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 many of you may not be using a, a printed schedule like one that we have on here. You know, um, there there are lots of digital, uh, you know, di digital organizers available. But having it written down, having it scheduled, increases. I, I, I'm I'm very uh, I'm I'm very wary of saying um, you know uh, uh, guarantees, uh, giving guarantees anymore. But it, it increases the likelihood of, um, of, of us getting to that list and, 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 and getting it done, uh, getting to that task and getting it done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you should have all of your upcoming GMTSS events, your team events um, in your calendar so that you know what's available to plug into, you know where your trainings are, when they're taking place, so you can be prepared and planning 
-hmm. for success. And then of course, you know, picking one to two nights per week or, or day times per week, where you're going to focus on showing the business plan, whether it's at a home business presentation or bringing a guest to an unfranchised business presentation in your local area, or even plugging into a zoom webinar. Um, the important thing is, is that you've got it scheduled in your book because now you're uh, like you said, you're increasing the likelihood of success because it's planned, it's scheduled. And now what you need to do is plug in and mm. show up, right? Um, right. And again, we talk about the 15 minutes. Here it is at the bottom. Circle some times where, you know, you, you talked about just sending out some texts or making some calls. You can get a lot done in those 15 minute blocks. So maybe it's during a lunch break right. or maybe it's in the doctor's office while you're waiting for an appointment or getting your oil changed. You know, there's so many opportunities for us to grow our business in the pockets of time that we do have. Right. And if I could add like one more uh, tip for, uh, for, for anybody that's having challenges, you know, getting uh, even, even setting 15 minutes aside or, or uh, scheduling, um, you know, schedule, getting started on tasks. Uh, I've gotten very good at convincing myself uh, to, 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 to start a task and to say, hey, I'm going to commit two minutes um, to this two uh, anybody can, can, can commit two minutes to something right um, so uh, I, if there's a task that you want to get done convince yourself um, uh, that hey I'm going to get two minutes I'm going to give this two minutes of undivided attention um, and and start working on it and if if I uh, you know if I don't feel like it after two minutes I give myself an out but what I find uh, most more often than not, you know, uh, a majority of the time uh, after two minutes, I want to continue on that task. Um, and, you know, you end up becoming more productive that way. So, uh, you know, use that two minute, uh, that, that, that two minute uh, uh, trick to, to, to get us into the mode of, uh, of taking action. Yeah. Because sometimes it's just initiating, right? Getting started is mm -hmm. what, what usually stops people. Um, and you know, with that being said, we talk about achievement and accomplishment. When you set out to do something like that and you think it's gonna be a challenge and you accomplish it, there's that feeling of success, which then provides this like positive momentum that you wanna do more of that, right? So take, take any task um, and you know, it might be difficult, but if you go for it and you do it, you're gonna feel great after. I know there's the, the cold shower first thing in the morning, <laughs> you know, in wintertime here in New England, last thing you want to do is take a cold shower and you say, well, I don't know if I want to do that. You mm. do that, that for, and you go, wow, I did it. It wasn't that bad. And wow, I feel great. You do it the second day, the third day. And now you're starting to feel a lot of changes just because you took that one simple step mm. doing something. You got it. Yeah. I love those cold showers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Great way to start yeah. the day. Right. Mm -hmm. So so Andrew, um, what we're going to ask everyone to do right now is to, to, to share with us their goals, right? Mm -hmm. We want to, we've got a form here that if you scan it with your phone, you scan the QR code, or you can type in the address, you know, bit.ly slash 2023 business goals. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to um, go through this form. Andrew, I think you're going to share it so that we yeah. can... Um, you know, take a look at the questions. I want you to really take some time to answer these questions and maybe even revisit them throughout this week and really make this the launching point for your 2023 because nothing happens without having this goal and a goal statement beyond this point if you really want to make 2023 your year. Right. You got it. And so, you know, that bit.ly link is case sensitive. So everything is lowercase. Um, but let's go through this, uh, this, this form uh, together uh, right now and fill, fill this in. Let's spend at least two minutes on this, shall we, Jason? <laughs> Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. All right. So starting off with an easy one. Um, we're going to uh, have, Jason, can you mind checking the, um, you know, making sure that if you go to that bit.ly link, it takes you to the form um, and you're able to, to answer. We've, I've turned on the uh, collecting responses. Um, so Jason and I are going to review review the uh, the responses. Where uh, and we've got a team of uh, support. Um, we've got a support team that will be uh, checking the responses and, and getting to know some of your goals that you're looking forward to achieving uh, this year. 
Uh, starting us off with an easy one. Uh, if you know your name, type it in, please, and that way you will uh, you will get some. Uh, you, you know, we'll, we'll, at least that gets us started on the task. Um, now, if you get your nine-digit unfranchised ID, uh, type that in as well, um, so that we'll, we'll be able to, you know, link link match that with uh, match that ID with what we have in the system. Um, and now we're starting to get some momentum. Um, let's get into our personal goals this year. Do this right now. It doesn't have to be perfect, um, but at least you'll get started uh, on it. Um, and you can always come back and submit another form if you if you like. Uh, so uh, what personal goals would you like to achieve in 2023? Uh, whether it be, uh, uh, you know, uh, it, whether it be a new skill that you want to learn or whether it be more time that you want to spend uh, with, fam uh, with family, who do you want to spend more time with because there are some family members that we don't want to spend more time with. <laughs> um, if you want to, um, you know, travel someplace, or if you are looking to get a new car, or 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 or, or move into a new neighborhood, um, you, what what are your personal goals that you would like to achieve in 2023? Uh, so list list them out, um, separate them by commas, and uh, and 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 then we move into identifying what on franchise level you need to be at to achieve the goals that you listed. Um, so, you know, judging from the uh, income level of each of the unfranchised uh, levels from, let's say, senior master coordinator and up, those are uh, calculated on uh, uh, on earning and access of, uh, of that number in a four week pay period. Um, so put that down. And if you don't, if you don't, uh, if you're not familiar, if you're newer to the business, you're not familiar with the names of these levels yet, put in a uh, put in a, a, a monthly uh, income, uh, put in a monthly income range that you would like to earn. And we'd be able to translate that for you uh, to the levels. But I do recommend familiarizing yourself as much as possible with the uh, with with the unfranchised uh, levels. Um, next, we've got how many people? Uh, so now we're we're gonna get into our business specifics, and we've got to speak that into existence. Um, if you if you don't have the guts to write it down, we certainly won't have the guts to uh, to go after it and achieve it, right, Jason? Um, That's right. Yeah. It's so we're setting those intentions, right? Absolutely. So it's it's not how many people are you aiming to uh, sponsor, or are you would or would you like to personally sponsor twenty twenty three? Let's get this. Let's get this. Um, you know, uh, let's get you know, let's get the cement on that um, by just going straight for how many people are you going to personally sponsor in twenty twenty three? And let's put that down and let's go for it. Um, and you know, with that, we we have the, uh, the 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 action plan to go with it. For example, to you know, uh, there is a, a a very strong correlation between personal sponsorships and how many plans you show. Um, so we all have you know a diff. You know, we all have our ratio. Some people uh, show five plans and get a sponsorship. Uh, some people show ten plans and get a sponsorship. But uh, nevertheless, we all have our 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 own ratios. So identify how many plans you're able to, uh, uh, you know, to show uh, in, in a month um, for the year of two, 2023. So put that down uh, in your answer. Now let's talk a little bit about BV. Um, BV generates the income, generates the commission. So this is on top of the retail profit that you earn. So the, the retail profit is the nice, um, you know, uh, icing on the cake. It helps to cover uh, your, your operational expenses. But BV is where you can generate a lot of strong commissions from, uh, from the compensation plan. So set a plan of how much BV you'll need to retail uh, per month in 2023. Um now, next, how many people will you have with you at the next local seminar? Seminar. One thing I love about January, Jason, is that there's local seminars everywhere. Almost most every area um, or neighboring area will have a local seminar uh, happening. Uh, so, how many people will you have with you at this next upcoming local seminar? Um, because it's all about building 
from event to event, and then follow up, uh, follow up, um, you know, that that question with how many people will you have with you at leadership school, uh, March second uh, to the third are the dates for for leadership school. So it's very close, even though we're still in January. March is just around the corner. You could blink, and March March is uh, March is here, um, as we've experienced, um, you know, so uh, the uh, these past couple of years. Now, now leadership school is going to be the game changer for uh, your team and for 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 for, for building um you know for for building a, a, a group of people that are going to build this uh, that are going to be that you can call teammates and partners they're going to be building this with you um instead of you having to to carry them on your back or, or drag them along the way so leadership school and international convention um are, are where a lot of strong partnerships are are are, are born um, so following that up with how many people will you have with you at the international convention? Uh, what's a great rule of thumb or what's a great target, uh, Jason, would you would you say between two major events, like from leadership school to international convention, what's a good uh, target to aim for in terms of increase? Yeah, I always, you know, something as simple as a 10% increase mm -hmm. is something that can can make so many positive changes. But I will tell you that when you're looking at the major, major events, and this is part of goal setting, because how many tickets you have to the next major event forecasts your growth, right? right? So if you're thinking of having 100 people at international convention, well, guess what? At leadership school, you need to be prepared to be purchasing tickets and moving tickets into your organization to make sure that you've got 100 people at international convention. Right. Now, the number of people actually attending the event there's a direct correlation to your income, mm. right? So buying the tickets will forecast your growth, but being sure that you can have people attending and in, in their seats at the event directly correlates to your income in this business, which is amazing. So when you're talking about your 2023 goals, it's important to understand that from event to event and ticket goals, that's why this is here, right? Mm -hmm. This is not just about earning through the MPCP. It's all connected. Right. Love it. Um, so uh, we're going to wrap up with uh, uh, these several, uh, the, these these couple more questions with regards to uh, uh, you, you know staying on on the course. You know, Dennis always said, "Stay focused, uh, stay the course." Master UFO is our you know is 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 one of the best navigation uh, systems that we have. Um, so, uh, how many times will you hit Master UFO in 2023? Now, there's a maximum of four um, that you can hit, and one per quarter. Um, and uh, how many HVPs or product shows uh, will you conduct in 2023? Because all of the uh, you know a lot of the fun or the the uh, the work um, you know it's the same thing. It happens in the homes. It happens in groups and in teams. So how many of these HVPs piece, uh, home business presentations or home product events um, will you conduct in 2023? Let's put that in. A great way to be able to calculate that is to see um, you know, I've had a, a, a gal send, send her goals in. Um, she, you know, put in 52. Uh, 52 HVPs or product events that she'll conduct in 2023. So what that breaks down to is that she looked at her schedule and say, hey, I'm going to dedicate one night a week uh, to home events. This week it might be products. Next week it might be a business, uh, you know, the business presentation, but she'll conduct 52. So she'll be working every week of, uh, uh, you know, of, of, um, of the year, but she's got big goals. So, um, you know, it, it, it comes with, it, it it, it comes with the the activity that she's committed uh, committed to. Yeah, and Andrew, one of the things like when we look at how our business expands and how it duplicates, and we've got these you know two major events like six, each six months. You've got leadership school and you've got international convention are good benchmarks from uh, for your business. And really, you know, every single thing that you do, every one of these goals can be doubled, right? Can be doubled in production just based on following the system and master unfranchise owners in your organization. If you've got two this quarter, well, the next quarter, you're hoping to have four, right? After that, you're hoping to have eight. Um, right. So, you know, that is realistic if you're following it consistently. I think consistency is also something that's important in your plan. And that's what you just said. One right. night a week, 
having an event, right? That's, that's yeah. a, almost a guaranteed way to increase the likelihood that you're going to double your business. Right. That's it. Now, and the next one is how many teammates will you have hitting you on franchise levels in 2023? Um, you know, this is an interesting one because everything is, it happens at the grassroots, like of, uh, you know, of the organization. So it's, it's, uh, it's about creating more coordinators and co more creating uh, more coordinators would uh, build up more executive coordinators, more executive coordinators would give more opportunity for bonuses for more master coordinators to be able to hit those levels and more master coordinators um, and more executive coordinators and more coordinators would uh, generate an income that would get you senior master and above. Uh, so how many teammates will you have hit? How many can you uh, can you have hit in, in uh, a new level uh, in, in 2023? That should be a, a strong focus for all of us. Mm -hmm. And for personal, for personal growth, how many good books will you read or listen to if you are, you know, I'm, I'm more of a listening uh, person. If you, um, you know, do, do, do audio books uh, in, in 2023 um, it's, it's, uh, you know, we started today talking about getting in the right attitude, um, you know, which determines the activity and the, and, and, and improving our skill set. but do, reading good books uh, or listening to good books will contribute uh, to that, getting our mental state, State, right, getting um, you know, teaching us new skills that we could we we could we could hone to, uh, you know, help us get closer to our goals. And last but not least, how much will your unfranchised business income go up by in 2023? So remember that question you answered about what unfranchised level do you need to be uh, to uh, do you need to be to achieve your goals? Let's go for that. And if you do go for that, how much will your unfranchised business income go up by? Uh, so you can put this in as, you know, it go up by uh, $1,500 a month, or it would go up by, um, you know, uh, it, it would go up by $20,000 a year. What, however you want to uh, frame it, just put it in here, make sure that you've got the dollar amount and the, um, um, you know, and, and the, the, the time frame that, that you're, you're looking to do it. I know we did say uh, go up by in 2023, but sometimes for some of us, it's easier to visualize um, or uh, on a month on a month to month basis. Um, so once we've done all of that, you can print a copy of your answers uh, that you submitted and put that up in front of you as a reminder of the things that you're going to uh, you're going to achieve the great things that you're going to achieve uh, this year. Um, so with that, if you've completed the form or if you're filling up the form, we also want to know uh, about it. Thank you, Melissa Brown, who has submitted it. Um, you know, and anyone else that has submitted it, let's put it in the uh, put it in the chat if you can. Uh, if you, you're doing so this the same thing, if you're viewing on Facebook, uh, we look forward to you know seeing your responses as well because this is going to be it's going to be a great great year, folks. So uh, you know, Jason, I'm gonna go back to you um, to to close us off. I just want to wish everybody uh, that you know in everything that you do this year and all of your endeavors, um, whether it, it, not. I, I wish and I hope um, and 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 I'm going to put this out there to the universe that you don't don't just find wealth in what you're doing and in your endeavors, but you also find meaning and fulfillment um, in everything that you do this year. Let's make this a great year, a great 2023. Jason, uh, wrap wrap it up for us. And uh, again, thank you everybody for being on. And Jason, thanks for uh, for all your help to, uh, today to put this session together. Yeah, absolutely. Like Andrew said, you know, let's make 2023 great. It all starts with your mindset and making sure that you're prepared for success. This is a great week to get together with your teams, your organizations, and go through these activities with them. Make sure that you are working together as a united front to help each other achieve your goals. One team, one dream. As the tide rises, all ships will rise with it. We wish you the best in 2023 and stay tuned to our next Master UFO session. Thank you, everyone. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.